guys this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Mill 3D tutorials and tool paths and this is our Mastercam Mill 3D fourth tutorial part 3 Mastercam in this video we discuss about the finishing tool path for that one part in previous of two videos you already learned about that how we can create that one surface part and also you can also you also learn about that how we can create a roughing tool path by the help of area roughing in for this one part so on the previous video i just described you that how you can make roughing operation by the help of most using operation that is known as area roughing and in this video you will learn about the finishing tool paths so for creating the finishing tool path let me show you that how you will create finishing tool path for that one part so in this video you will learn two different type of finishing tool path the number one tool path is the most using that is name is raster and then second one tool path for the corner finishing that is known as pencil tool path so let me show you that how we can create both of these tool path for completing the finishing purpose for that one part so for create a finishing tool path i already create here all these rough tool path so i create a new tool path group for creating a new tool path group i have to click here machine group first make a right click group and i just go in a new tool path group now i can also rename that one so i just press here and i can click right click group and rename and i can also press here f2 and i can rename so i just rename that one finishing tool paths so now I will create all these finishing tool paths. So for creating all these finishing tool path, let me copy that one roughing operation. So all the parameter will be not required to be changing. So I go in the parameters. Here first option is the tool path group here that is selected as a roughing operation. But now I have to choose the finishing operation. So I just choose finishing and choose my operation that is known as raster. So after selecting my operation raster. <coughs> I just have to go in model geometry at the model geometry I when I was going for the roughing operation I make stock so when I was going for the finishing operation I have to make both of the stock value wall and floor is zero zero and the next one is tool path control so when I was using a finishing tool path so that time it's required that I have to create a closed boundary where tool path will be machining only that one boundary only so I have to just selecting that one bounding chain boundary chain and I just have to click here and now I have to choose chain which one says the containment boundary where I have to control my machining so I just select that one upper portion click here now click here click here and here so as you can see my I just click on my upper chain so that is automatically selected and it will be created a containment that is my upper portion so my tool part will be machining only in this one portion and now i have to press ok now the next one step is i have to select my tool so for selecting my tool i have to go in a selecting tool library and for a finishing tool path i have to choose my ball nose tool so for first when i was going for a raster milling i just choose a 6 mm ball nose and now I can input here feed and spindle speed as per your workpiece material and as per your tool. And I also input input here at my comment finish raster. Then now next one step is I have to go in a stop and I have to unmark them because I am not going to be using roughing operation. I am going to using my finishing operation. So I just have to uncheck that one and now the next one step is cutting parameter at here cutting parameter I have to choose this is my cutting parameter method the first option is that I have to changing that is my step over at the value of the step over I have to choose my 0.15 that is I can decide it as per my tool so I am just using here my 6 mm of ball load so I just put input step over is 0.16 and here percentage of tool diameter it will be always make sure when you are machining at the starting or you want to learn so that time make sure that 200% of tool diameter 
you will be make its all time 100 percentage of tool diameter then the, the one of the important parameter for that one that is known as scale up height so when i was changing my step over so scale up height is automatically calculated by the master cam so you don't have to change this that one you have to just input my step over so at that time the scale up height will be automatically input so the next one thing is the machining angle what is my machining angle so i will actually explain about the machining angle in a detail and the now next one is the steep and shallow it means what is the transactions method from the one pass to another pass and the next one is steep and shallow at the steep and shallow how we can control the machining angle so we don't have to require to be changing the here and now linking parameter is as our previous tool path now i just have to click ok and i have to regenerate so when i was clicking on ok and re starting to regenerate so as you can see here my tool path is fully done and when i was starting to machining so let me show you what is happening so my tool is starting to machining but when i was giving that one tool machining so as you as you can see here my tool is going for the machining that one's portion and now it is going up and again come here and fit. that is cutting in only one way it is going to cutting and now bottom and it's come up side and now it's coming back at the initial position so that time that is when we are using a raster operation so that time that is wastage of my time so that time i can choose change my one parameter that is here cutting parameter that is my cutting method when we are using always raster operation make sure the most of time we are using zigzag zigzag mean what will be happening let me show you when we are choosing zigzag operation so that time that over tool will be machining like that one form i just here press and play so my tool is machining like that it is coming here and it is continuously cutting from that side continuously that side continue here here so it will be a continuous machining so that time my cycle time is reduced because my tool is not going up and again down up and down it is continuously machining and the next one one of the important parameters i have to change that here the tool is cutting in a zero degree angle the tool is zero degree cutting so when we are using a raster operation most of the time we are planning to make the tool angle is 45 percent so let me show you that what is happening when i just change the tool machining angle 45 percent i just change the machining angle is 45 percent degree angle so now i press ok so as you can see here my tool path is created from a reference plane to 45 degree so that time my finishing way is going to be much better than the zero degree angle so when, make sure when you are using a raster operation so that time you must use my machining angle is 45 degree as you show you, as i show you now my first roughing to finishing tool path is done so my entire surface is going to be machining but i am using the tool size that is 6 mm so when i was using a 6 mm tool so that time is still some area so that time here in some area machining will be also remaining so let me show you that how we will machining that as you can see here in the drawing that my the corner area radius is r 1.5 it means i have to machining that one portion by the help of 1.5 the borrowers tool where nose radius is 1.5 mm so i can choose here the 3 mm of cutter ball nose so that time that will be machining perfect so let me show you that how we will create that one portion that one part machining so for machining that one part i have to choose the most using important machining operation that is known as a pencil so i just make copy that one and now press here paste i have to go in a parameter first i have to select my tool path that is my pencil now model geometry nothing to be changed nothing to be changed I have to change that is my tool size. I have to go in a select tool library and I have to choose my tool that is the diameter is 3.0 and my corner radius is 1.5 mm. And now I have pressed OK. I choose my feet spindle speed. I have to comment as per my requirement. Now I have to go in a cutting parameter that is different compared to my raster tool path. So the first thing is the cutting method that I will always make zigzag. When we are 
making a machining toolpath for the penciling toolpath. So make sure we have to change in only the two parameter. The number one parameter is step over. So I have to just in input my step over parameter. So that time scale of height will be automatically calculated. And the second one thing that I have to change in that is my reference tool diameter. So when we are going to use a pencil toolpath for a finishing purpose, so I have to change my step over. And here I have to input what is the my previous tool diameter size. So it is 6 mm. So I just input that one 6 mm. So that time it will be maximum number of offset that the passes number is automatically calculated. And now I have to all see all will be okay and perfect. And now I have to press okay and regenerate that one toolpath. So guys, as you can see here at the entire surface where the my 6 mm ball nose is not reached. So that there my pencil tool path is going there and I can easily machine that one part. So let me show you that how, so let me show you in a 3D simulation. So for creating a 3D simulation for the all parts, I, for the finishing parts, I have to make my stock model before finishing. So I just copy that one, paste here. and change few parameters that is my stock model finish i can change here color and now the last one stock model is last one and that operation is that one operation and now press okay and i have to regenerate so when I was regenerating that one, so that time, as you can see here, that tool path is, that stock model is after the all roughing operation. So when I want to simulation that one for the finishing purpose, I just have to make the simulation raw material is that. So how we will go for that one? For that one, I have to select simulator option and stock model, and I have to choose stock model for finishing that is will be simulated. So when I just press on a verify, make sure you have to select all the finishing operation so for that one i have to select all the finishing operation at a one time so i just click here at the finishing toolpath so my three of these finishing toolpath will be selected in a one click and now i have to press simulate so guys as you can see here my toolpath is all my toolpath is done and now I have to simulate in a three. So as you can see here, my machining is going to be started from that one portion. So that is one of the method that we are going to machine and so when if I want to see that the simulation in a like as a machining that how it is cutting in a mass when it is a machining so we can also change that is one icon at the upper side or you can click on here simulation so guys as you can see here that is fitted and in a machine so when i just press run so it will be machining like machining like a real part this is my workpiece so my tool that is a machining in a very good form all these my part is going a very smooth finishing so that is my pencil tool path and that ring is my one of the most using tool path that is raster so thank you very much i wish you understand the, all the things that i just tried to explain in this video be connected and updated for the more videos thank you